Today we are going to discuss a topic called fractions from your elementary mathematics books of class 3. Look at the circle. It is divided into two equal parts. The blue part is one out of two parts. So we can call it as one by two or half. The second part is also one out of two parts. So we can also call it as one by two or half. Now look at the second circle. It is divided into four equal parts. There are three parts out of four which is colored in blue. We can write it as three by four. The last part is one out of four and we can write it as one by four. Now look at this strip. It is divided into two equal parts. First part is equal to one out of two. So we can write it as one by two or half. The second part is also one out of two parts. So we can also write it as one by two or half. Next look at this second strip. It is divided into four equal parts. The first three parts are colored in light green and we can write it as three by four. The last strip is last fraction is divided is colored in green. We can write it as 1 by 4. So we can say a fraction is a part of a whole. It represents one or more equal parts of a whole object. Look at this number. It is a fraction. Here 2 is written above a small bar. And 5 is written under the small bar. We can say this 2 as numerator. And this small bar is called fraction bar or division bar. And this 5 is called denominator. Now let us compare the following fractions. Look at the two strips of the figure. They have equal length but first one is divided into two equal parts and the second one is divided into four equal parts. In the first yellow strip, this first part is equal to half. And if we consider the both part, then we can say this both part together as two by two. For the second strip, we can see that this strip is divided into four equal parts. So if we consider the first part, then we can write this as one by four. If we consider the two parts, then we write it as two by four. If we consider the three parts together, then we can say this three parts is written as three by four. If we consider the four parts all together, then we can write it as four by four. Now let us examine the following diagram. Here we have five strips of equal length. First strip is divided into two equal parts. So its denominator is two. Second strip is divided into four equal parts. So we can call its denominator is four. The third strip is divided into six equal parts. So we can say its denominator is six. The fourth one is divided into eight equal strips. So its denominator is eight. Now the last one is divided into ten equal parts. So its denominator is 10. So, 
the total number of equal divisions of any object is its denominator in first case if we consider the first portion only then we can write it as 1 by 2 or half because its denominator is 2 and we are taking one part out of 2 for the second strip the same length is divided into two parts so we can say this part is as 2 by 4 in the second strip the same length is divided into three equal parts so we can write it as 3 by 6 the in the fourth strip the same length is divided into four equal parts so the fraction will be 4 by 8 and for the last strip the same length is divided into five equal parts so the fraction will be 5 by 10. That's why we can say that 1 by 2 is equals to 2 by 4 equals to 3 by 6 equals to 4 by 8 and it is equals to 5 by 10. That is these are all equivalent to each other. Now we can check the equivalent fractions by the following way. Now first we discuss what is equivalent fraction. Fractions which have same value each other are called equivalent fractions. Look at these two fractions. One half and two by four. Here we multiply the, the denominator of first fraction with the numerator of second fraction. That is 2 into 2, we get 4. Next, we will multiply the numerator of first fraction with the denominator of second fraction. That is 1 into 4 equals to 4. That means in the both cases, the result is same. That's why we call these two fractions as equivalent to each other. Now, the fractions which do not have same value each other are called non-equivalent fractions. Look at these two fractions, 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. When we multiply the denominator of first fraction with the numerator of second fraction, that is 3 into 3, we get 9. Next, we will multiply the numerator of first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction and then we get 2 into 5 equals to 10 where 9 and 10 are not same so we can say 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 are not equivalent to each other now we will learn how to obtain equivalent fractions now look at this here half is the fraction we will find out the equivalent fraction of half. For this, we will multiply the numerator 1 with 2 and denominator 2 with the same value 2. That is, we multiply the numerator denominator with the same number. Then we will get the result as 2 by 4. So we can say half is equivalent to 2 by 4. Next, we will see the second equivalent fraction. Here we multiply the numerator with 3 and denominator with 3 and we get 3 by 6 as the equivalent fraction of half. Next we will multiply the numerator and denominator with 4. So we get the new fraction that is 4 by 8 which is equivalent to half. So we can say Equivalent fractions are obtained by multiplying numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number. We can also get equivalent fraction by dividing any number or any fraction. Like in this case, we have seen that if we divide the numerator and denominator with the same number, 
that is here we divide 10 by 2 and 16 by 2 we get a new number or a new fraction that is 5 by 8. Now let us examine another fractions. Now the 15 is 15 by 24 is both the cases in numerator and denominator we divide by eight them by 3 that is we get the new fraction 5 by 8 here in 20 by 32 we divide numerator and denominator by 4 that is we get a new fraction that is 5 by 8 so here 20 by 32 is equal by fell into 5 by 8 so we can say equivalent fractions are obtained by dividing numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number. There are mainly three types of fractions, proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fraction. Proper fra in proper fractions, numerator is always smaller than denominator. In improper fraction, numerator is greater than denominator or equal to denominator and in mixed fractions there is a number along with a fraction we will learn about mixed fraction in the next class now what is proper fraction a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction example is half where numerator 1 is less than 2 we can see another example as 3 by 5 where numerator 3 is smaller than denominator 5. Let us see another example that is 5 by 7. Here numerator 5 is smaller than 7. Improper fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called a improper fraction. Example 4 by 4. Here numerator 4 is equal to denominator 4. So it is a improper fraction. Here the new another example is 8 by 5 where numerator a is greater than 5. Let us see another example that is 11 by 9. Here also numerator 11 is greater than 9. So these are all improper fractions. Now we are going to discuss additions of fractions. Look at the first strip. Here the strip is divided into 5 equal strips. And the first three part is colored in dark blue. So, for these three parts can be written as 3 by 5. In the second strip, it is also divided into 5 equal parts and one part is colored in green. So, we can write it as 1 by 5. If you want to add this 3 by 5 with 1 by 5, then what we'll do? Here we take 5 as the common denominator of the two fractions. So we write 5 here. Now in the numerator, we just add the numerator of first one with the numerator of second one. Like this. That is 3 plus 1. Then we get a number that is in numerator we get 4 and in denominator we have 5. So what is the rule? The rule is when we add fractions with the same denominator the denominator of the answer will be the same as the common denominator and the numerator will be the sum of the numerators of the fractions. Now we are going to learn the subtractions of fractions. Look at this strip. This strip is also divided into 5 equal parts and the 3 parts is colored in dark blue. 
So this 3 plus can be written as 3 by 5. The second strip is also divided into 5 equal parts and the one part is colored in dark blue. That is the part, this part can be described as 1 by 5. Now if you want to subtract this 1 by 5 from 3 by 5 then what we will do? That is three, we subtract 1 by 5 from 3 by 5. So we can again like addition we take the common denominator of the fractions that is we write denominator as 5 and we subtract the second numerator from the first numerator that is from 3 we subtract 1 then we get the result that is we get a new fraction is 2 by 5 now look at the another example when we want to subtract any number from 1 like we subtract, want to subtract 3 by 5 from 1 then we will get 5 minus 3 divided by 5 how we can do it in this case we consider 5 as the denominator and for numerator we multiply 1 by the denominator that is here we multiply 1 by 5 we get 5 as the first numerator and from this numerator we subtract 3 that is we subtract the numerator of second one from the from the number 5 now we get the result as 2 by 5 so what is the rule when we subtract fraction with same denominator the denominator of the answer will be the same as the common denominator and the numerator will be obtained by subtracting the numerators of the subtrahend from the numerator of the minuend. So this is how we can subtract one fraction from another. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.